So here's the software setup. We're going to have to set up a few things, uh, in three things in particular. First, we're going to download and set up Loop MIDI and connect it to Contact. The second thing is going to be download and set up my Firefox MIDI Bridge script. And the third thing is to install and configure the mobile app Firefox on your phone and then connect it all together. So now I have to put a disclaimer here because I've only run this on Windows, although I'm sure it will work on Mac. Uh, the problem with running it on Mac is you will have to at least at first do this in the Python environment instead of running an executable because I can't create an executable as I don't own a Mac. So first thing you do is download and set up Loop MIDI with Contact. So you can see the URL that I've posted here. Um, it's a free app. It's a free utility. Uh, you run this utility and it creates a virtual MIDI port that you can connect to Contact. And that way when the computer receives the data from your phone, it will automatically transfer it uh, to Contact and as a continuous controller. Now go ahead and go to the GitHub page that I've created to download the Firefox MIDI bridge. Um, there's two ways to do this. There's a Python script version in which you can run the Python script in the Python environment, uh, which is the way that you might have to do it on Macintosh since um, I don't own a Mac uh, and I can't, I can't create an executable for it, as I said. Um, you have to do it in the Python environment until someone creates a script um, you know, using my, uh, an executable using my script. You can also go to the releases um, section of this and download an executable that I've already created if you're running on Windows. In Windows, uh, what you'll do is you'll open the zip file, put it into a folder, and then double click the .exe file when you know, you're ready to run the MIDI bridge. Now I also have to say here that uh, because my app uh, is written in Python and I guess a lot of hackers use Python, um, your virus checker may flag it. So you'll just have to green light it through that virus checker. Um, and you know, one of the reasons I created the GitHub page and I'm making a video here is to show you, you know, who is actually making this file and that you can trust that it is not, it is virus free even though it's been flagged. Okay, so now that that's set up, you're going to download Firefox, which is an app in the App Store available on Android and iOS. And once you open that app, you click the magnetometer uh, experiment, which will then open the next screen. And in this screen, you're going to go up to the upper three dots and click the settings for that, which will open this sub window where you click allow remote access and check that check mark that box. And what that's going to do is it's going to start allow you to send data from the sensors in your phone to your computer. The next page, um, when you close that, you hit play and the magnetometer will start sending the data. Your phone will start sending the magnetometer data uh, and it will send it to the uh, using the address, IP address of your phone, which is shown here on the bottom. So now that, that that's going, make sure you don't touch the uh, screen of your phone because it might uh, change screens, but you, you need this running. So now I'll run my app, the uh, Firefox to MIDI Bridge, MIDI Bridge app, and uh, go ahead and read, read all the stuff if you want. I'm just kind of going through it here right now. <laughs> But you press enter to continue and you enter the loop MIDI port that you've created, the one that connects it to contact. And then on the next page, you enter the IP address of your phone, which was listed uh, on the bottom of the Firefox screen and hit enter. And at this point, uh, you can put the phone on your head between your head and the headband of your headphones. Uh, make sure it's stable and don't drop your phone. And we go through the calibration routine. And you're going to calibrate center, you're going to calibrate right, and you're going to calibrate left. And at that point, 
it will be sending uh, mod modulation wheel data directly to contact.